about? I feel like we got a couple. I also have something that uh, probably our audience doesn't care about either. Oh, what's that? The Vanderpump Rules I drama. Thought. I'm still not caught up. Yes. Listen, if you don't, if you haven't even heard about this, then you are truly living under a rock. It's all I was for a while. Media, all over TMZ. Um, basically, Vanderpump Rules is a show that has been on the air for about ten years now. I think they're in season ten. Ugh. Reality show featuring Lisa Vanderpump, who is a real housewife of Beverly Hills. And talks like this and always seems either very tired or very she, drunk. She owns a series of restaurants in the greater L.A. area, Beverly Hills, and it's about her staff. It's her the staff of her restaurants and bars, even though most of them don't even work there anymore. Yes. But it's their lives. It's their day-to-day, their friendships, their relationships, their beefs, their drama. Well, there is a cheating scandal that just came out between two of the castmates, Tom Sandoval and Raquel Levis, and it is messy. I, I'm way behind. All right, so I gave up um, Vanderpump Rules for Lent, and by Lent I mean about two or three years because nice. I hated myself well, so because much. Because you're you're a voice of the martyr. That's why you're so, you. you're a good Christian. I have uh, relapsed. Uh, and I have almost finished season nine, and this is all I told Joe. Do not spoil it for me, but it's yeah. hard to avoid. Um, so this guy pictured here is Tom Sandoval. He's been dating this woman, Ariana, for nine years. They own a home together. They are not married because Ariana did not want to get married. She's not interested in children. Uh, I think she also um, identifies as bisexual, but she has been in a relationship with him for nine years. Now, they got together because Tom Sandoval was cheating on his girlfriend, Kristen, with right here, Ariana. So some have been arguing, Ariana, you knew what you were getting into. You're dating a cheater, always a cheater, right? I don't know if I like that. But the issue is he cheated with this girl, Raquel, who was recently engaged to James Kennedy, DJ James Kennedy. And (laughs) Tom Sandoval, they're all very good friends. Tom put about $20,000 of his own money into the proposal that James did for Raquel. Well, it's not like Tom and Raquel just slept together once. Apparently, they have been having a six-month-long affair. It started after Raquel called off the engagement to James. But Tom is still very much with Ariana, and somehow they were keeping it all under wraps. But Ariana found out when she was holding Tom's phone and saw a sexy video that Raquel sent. I didn't know that bit. Tom. Oh, boy. A, a sexy, sexy video, uh, and then she uncovered many texts and found out that this had been happening for over six months. So they are no longer together. Apparently, uh, they were wrapped for the season of filming, season 10, but they have since gone in. The producers have made all of these people film some more to capture this fallout, yes. and they will be d- discussing all of it soon when they film the reunion. Uh, this is wild. But here's what I think. This is, is insane if you've watched the show. That's this just is... all of the background for you all. But here's what really kind of sucks. I like that fun. Tom Sandoval and another Tom, Tom Schwartz, they now own two bars. One is Tom Tom. Now that is actually owned by Lisa Vanderpump. She's using their face, their, you know, uh, celebrity prestige to kind of sell this spot. Uh, and I think they're like 1% stake owners, something pretty yeah. small in the business. But they themselves then went on to open another bar called Schwartz and Sandy's, their Ooh. last names. You could tell she didn't help with that name. Uh, and these establishments have been getting so much hate now online. People, because they're so pissed at Tom Sandoval, are leaving really nasty reviews just because of his character. Now, he made a statement on Instagram, like, guys, please don't do that. There are employees, we have staff there that are negatively being affected. They need to feed their families, all of this hoopla. So please, just direct your anger at me. Don't direct it at anyone else. He's not wrong. Yeah. You know? But, uh, oh, my God. I mean, it is, it's one thing to pay the piper, if you know. You did some stuff outside of the grounds of whatever you would describe the relationship as. But, I mean, this 
He's now going, he could be destroying a business because of this. I know. Wow. And what's wild to me is affairs are not new. I still want to not I'm watch sure this. everyone knows someone intimately who has had an affair or I cheated mean. at some point. But ask yourself, was that person on reality TV? I know. Was that person doing said affair with someone else who's also on the same reality TV show? While you've been, like, followed around by cameras and doing interviews, it's too much. Yes, and also, Raquel, I mean, first of all, A, shocking, but B, don't get it, brings nothing to the table. Uh, it yeah, looks like, she looks like a stiff wind to knock her over, but maybe hit her head so hard that she actually develops a personality. She, but, he, she uh, has been being made fun of a little bit for being a fangirl. She goes to Tom Sandoval also has a cover band, you guys. Yeah, if that if, if you wanted to hate him even more, there's another reason. But she's been going to all the shows with Ariana, and the two of them are in the front row cheering on Tom Sandoval as he does these covers of, like, Yacht Rock songs. And she's wearing the merch, Tom Tom sweatshirts, and people are kind of making fun of her for being a fangirl. It's, you know, it's a little cringy, but... Tom Sandoval is such an egomaniac narcissist that he loves this attention. And so he probably was like, this feels good. This girl just loves and supports me, so I'm going to love on her. And that's how that's how I think it all started. Oh, did she ever have end up having that nose job? I think she did. Mm. Cause she had like a botched one and then she needed no, correction. She, so she's got some sort of dysmorphia issues. I'm not sure. I have to say, well done. Thank you. See, I knew I was, I wanted to talk about this, uh, even though I'm so far behind, but uh, that was a fucking well done synopsis. Thank you. There are many more nuances to it and yes. details. I highly recommend looking at Reddit threads, TikToks to learn more, but that is the gist of it. So now you know if someone in your circle brings up all of this, now you can have an intelligent conversation. That was a cliff notes, not for any work of Shakespeare, but for Vanderpump Rules. Yes. Uh